Hello everyone. Here we are again today with a nice hair video. Craig has oh. Oh. it's like too much or not enough. That's all we got. But it's very hairy. Okay, you can see. Oh gosh. We'll leave it there for now. So he's very hairy. We've got lots of hairs. All right. So first, I'm going to start out plucking some of the larger hairs. And for anyone wondering, this does not hurt him as bad as the eyebrows, I think. Um, we're only getting the larger ones. Unfortunately, this ear is very hairy, hairy today. All right, the thicker ones. And now I'm just going to kind of leave the longer ones, but they're not as thick. And we'll see if I can just sort of shave them down. I spray some water on here to just kind of moisturize, but also to be able to see all the hairs that I can then dermaplane. So we do have a new mic and a new mic set up. So we're going to see how this goes. And if not, I'm going to have to use the camera audio. Look at all that hair. That's what I'm telling you guys. We are really trying to figure out the setup. It is difficult. A way for me to be close to him, him to be comfortable, get all the stuff in there. Definitely need a camera that can zoom in because I like very meticulous things. But I like for you guys to see it all. But yeah. You know, I need to think about what I'm going to be for Halloween. Got to be not too scary, though. That's usually how I dress. So, hmm. That'll be a thinker. Usually just do, like, crazy makeup. And then put the costume together out of my wardrobe mostly, and then just like buy some little accessories. Much cheaper, <laughs> much cheaper than buying an adult costume. I've done my face as like a skeleton, I've done my face, <laughs> oh, as a sugar skull. That one was cute though. Uh, an alien. Oh gosh, what else have I done on my face? I can't remember. And then just done the outfit to match. Hey, I'm trying to think of that one. It took me so long to do. Nope, not coming to me. That's okay. So, if I'm tapping the mic or anything, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to figure this out. Now, we have to be very careful with Craig's ears because he has um, sun damage on them. That's why they look a little redder, even before I've started messing with them. Um, and they get red very quickly. It's not painful at all. Just looks like sunburn that's always there. But we take it easy with the skin, because that means the blood is closer to the surface. 
Um, so it's much more likely to nick them or hurt them and make them bleed. And we don't want to do that, right? Getting all the little fuzzies and the dead skin. hairs we can get with this. We cannot wait for it to cool down. We're definitely, I know I am, but cooler weather people are hot all the time. Um, so, but Craig hasn't been in North Carolina for super long and I've always been here so he's like when is it going to cool down I said um end of October sometimes on Halloween I finally have it where it's like wow this is really cold outside but we still have 80 degree days mm-hmm My favorite thing about the fall is one, I get to layer more clothes, so that means I get to wear more things and have different outfits instead of in the summer, which is my focus is just whatever I'm not going to be hot in. <sighs> and the least amount of clothes I can go out with <laughs> without it being, you know, Illegal. <laughs> it's just, it's too hot. And it's so hot here, you know. Um, I couldn't live anywhere else hotter. And I know there are plenty of places. So, so every time I tell somebody it's so hot in North Carolina, they're like, you should live in Texas. You should do this. I said, why would I do that? If it's horrible there and I don't like it here, then that doesn't sound very smart. I'm not saying it's the hottest, I'm saying I don't like it. <laughs> but one day I'll move somewhere where it's cooler, but I'm also not someone that wants to be in the snow all day. <laughs> so. Humidity also is what gets you here like crazy. Lord knows I'm tired of my hair frizzing out all the time. We also have one of the worst like allergies, allergens and stuff. Pollen, pollen. So. Oh, look at that. It's not looking so much better. Look at this. And that's just what I put on here. Now, if you are, you like seeing someone get pampered, but you're like, I don't really like the talking. That's okay. I'm not offended. But we do have non-talking versions of the ear. Always do one talking, one not. Uh, we do have... I make playlists so things are pretty specific so you can click on talking ASMR, non-talking ASMR, ear ASMR, um, face, eyebrows, um, that's the way I like things. It's very organized. 
That way, when you're in the mood for something, there you go. You can pick whatever you want. Also, anyone watching this video, if you can subscribe, it doesn't cost anything, but yet it helps us so, 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 so much. Um, we see all the comments and people that follow us, and that's just amazing. So, thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Look at that. The garbage truck was coming by, so we stopped for a second. I have bought four mics, so I certainly hope that this mic <laughs> is better. Or I'm going to throw them all out the window. And I definitely don't recommend dermaplaning the ear unless you really know about dermaplaning. Because it has so many weird contours. But that's why I don't use my regular dermaplaning blade. I use this one I got off like Amazon. So it's not as bad. Was. Looks really good. It's a lot smoother now. Perfect. Craig gets used to me pulling on his ear the whole time so I can get into every little crevice. And you just love it, don't you, Craig? You should. <laughs> so here, this is actually my extractor for blackheads. And he'll get some every once in a while, that's definitely for sure. But I'm actually just disturbing sort of the skin. I'm barely putting any pressure whatsoever. It's really quick. But as you can see, maybe somewhere, maybe on my tattoo, that's just how much dead skin is coming off. So that helps sort of break that up. It's probably dead skin, some oil built up, some earwax, all that kind of stuff. So we're just disturbing the skin here, especially in here. This is where we get built up shampoo, things like that. There it goes. This does the same thing as well. But it's a lot smoother. I kind of like having the edge of the extractor. Plus it likes to get all in between the coils. I have to clean them out really good. Okay, we're... And then this, it's very similar as well. I do not use this far into the ear or anything, but it's perfect for getting in those little crevices. 
or folds of the ear. Right in here, perfect. Look at that. Also, since I'm thinking about it, if you guys can take the opportunity, you know, after you subscribe and everything, also thank you ahead of time, uh, you won't regret it, um, is giving suggestions in the comments of things that we could do, especially different like couple things um, that we could do, that would be great. Things that I could do individually. Craig does travel sometimes, so it's got a little dry skin here, but it yeah, okay. Came off. There we go. Um we really appreciate that. We do. And that's how I get my best ideas, I have to say. Because y'all think of stuff I wouldn't even know. There we go, there's some more. This side does not get nearly as much oil as the other side, which is very interesting. Probably has to do with which way you sleep and all that. Now this is not an actual blade, it's um, extremely dull. Almost a stick, spatula. I also do it to loosen up the skin or the wax or the oil or the shampoo. That might be in there. So while he doesn't shampoo his head, he does shampoo his beard. So. I don't know. Do you shampoo your head? I do not. Okay. Now we know. Look at that. Inquisitive minds. This is how we learn. I mean, you could, I guess. Wouldn't hurt anything, would it? Mm. And no judgment to all the bald people that shampoo their heads. See, look at that. Look at that. Just stir skin. Do you see that line off of there? All those skin cells it's just been hanging out in there and this is just little rubber rubber bristles they don't hurt do they Craig nope very rubbery so I do have a camera for inside the ear and I think they are just the coolest things ever. Um, it's nothing fancy, but Craig is not a big fan of that. So if we get him to a place where he's like, yeah, let's do that, then we will. But some people don't like stuff in their ears, you know, and I wouldn't blame them, you know, nothing wrong with that. But we did get some good stuff out of his other ear. Had a little build up, but this ear, not so much. Alright, let me take a look at it now. Stretch this out. Clean out some of this oil that's there. It's 
would be adding extra hairs left. And this is just some moisturizer. Always want to clean out the pores and then replace with something good. So that's why I'm making sure to get in here, especially where we got the extra oil out. Any blackheads, like I said, this year was a lot, it might have been a little hairier, but it was definitely a lot cleaner than the other side. So definitely encourage you to go watch that video. It was so dirty and so satisfying to clean. It's amazing. So, so thank you for all that came to watch today. We appreciate it so, so much. Um, we are so glad when anyone's able to join us or just enjoy our content, which is great. And uh, please subscribe. It would help us so, so much. And, you know, leave a suggestion. So thank you. And I hope that you all have a great day.